Hey guys, the objective of this video is to determine the maximum minimal axial loads in member one and member two from the following load combinations. So it's the exact same load combinations as we did before. 1.35G, 1.2G, 1.5Q, 1.2G, wind 0.4Q, where we're gonna be looking at wind case one and wind case two, 0.9G and wind, where we're looking at wind one and wind two. So here's our structure. So it's a truss. Now we have a dead load uh, point loads over there, there, and there. Each of them is 30 kilonewtons and a live load of 40 kilonewtons each, at each of those points. Down here, we have point loads where each of them is 50 kilonewtons in dead load and live load is 60 kilonewtons. We have wind load one over here of 100 kilonewtons, wind load two of 100 kilonewtons. It's five meters, five meters, five meters, five meters, and five meters. We have a roller support there a pin support there, and we want to know, we want to be finding the maximum and minimum um, load, axial load, in members one and two respectively. Now, we just got to keep in mind that maximum is positive, and that's going to be a maximum tension, and minimum is going to be the maximum negative number, which is compression, okay? So the maximum is going to be a maximum positive number, which will be tension. The minimum is going to be a maximum negative number, which is going to be compression. Now, the steps is the exact same as the previous example we did. We're going to find reactions in the axial loads for G, Q, W, 1, W, 2 separately. We're then going to combine these axial loads in these combinations, and then we're going to select the maximum and minimum from those. So just in this video, we're going to be covering dead loads. So the first thing we're going to do for dead loads is find the reaction. So I've just drawn a free body diagram here and I've just put in all the dead loads. So you can see the dead loads of 30, point load, point load, point load, 30, 30, 30, and a point load of uh, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Now that was a roller, so I've put in a Y and this was a pin, so we've got BY and BX. So the first thing we're gonna do is take forces in the X direction, going right as positive equaling zero. Now, because there's no forces in the X direction,